Hello, everyone, and welcome to RevMD Sex Fights Podcast with me, your host, Dr. Deborah Durst, and I have a special guest with me today, and it's Dr. Ibrahim, and I am going to let him introduce himself. Thank you very much, Dr. Durst. I am George Ibrahim. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, and the name of my practice is Biltmore Restorative Medicine and Aesthetics. So George and I, Dr. Ibrahim and I, I shouldn't say George, um, actually do a very similar practice. So we do what I consider almost the most comprehensive of any kind of practice like it because we combine aesthetics and wellness. So not just a med spa, not just wellness, yeah, but yeah. a combination of all of it. And there's not too many that do it like that. But his background is urology. And so um, I think you should go into that a little bit because what we're going to talk about today is Botox and erectile dysfunction. And so that's your area of specialty and you've been doing it for a little while and it's kind of new for me to do. So I want to hear all about it, but let us know a little bit more about your background. Well, thank you so much for having me as a guest. It's always a pleasure to be here. It is always a pleasure for us to interact. Yeah. And, and as you said, both of our practices are much more than just a med spa. I mean, I like to tell people that my practice helps people feel better, look better, and love better. I mean, we're there to the whole shebang. But let's get on with the topic, Botox. Yes. Um, Wait, your background, because okay, that okay, really, really okay. does apply yeah. to this. Um, so I'm a Duke-trained urologist. I was a clinical professor for about 15 years with Duke, so I've got a very long experience dealing with both men's and women's um, sexual health. Mm -hmm. And Botox has been something that I've used, I used it in my practice as a urologist. So I've been injecting Botox in the private areas for, you know, many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so this is not, lot. yeah. So this yeah. is not <laughs> new to you, but again, now there's emerging, you know, science about um, Botox being used for erections, better yeah. erections, stronger erections, and it's new for everyone, but it seems to be a big topic. And so it's new to me as well. So tell me a little bit more about how that came to be okay. more mainstream or at least a, a, a trend now. Well, if you think about it, um, Seinfeld, that episode on shrinkage was, I don't know, what, 40-something years ago, 30 <laughs> years ago? I mean, yeah. so, you know, shrinkage has been around for a while, and it's been mm -hmm. an issue with men. Um, there are retractile tissues in the penis and in the scrotum. Now, this is done to, you know, for protection uh, when under stress, um, fight and flight, penis will retract closer into the body to keep it from... You know, getting hurt, the scrotum, same thing, bringing up the testicles um, during exertion, during sex with a lot of guys and with cold, you will see retraction. And if you give somebody a modulator like Botox or Dysport, this is going to relax these retractile tissues. Um, what you're going to see is on um, a, a man, a, a flaccid penis will actually now enlarge. It will get longer in length. It will get wider in girth. So, that's so, you know, guys like that. Oh, yeah. 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 And, you know, they're not afraid of getting out of the pool and being seen. You know, the, the shrinkage is going to be helped tremendously. Mm -hmm. um, the same thing with the scrotum. It relaxes it so it's not pulled up real tight. Mm-hmm. The blood vessels that are so involved, everything looks better. Oh, much better. Yeah, and bigger. Yeah. yeah, the blood flow to the penis is improved because the modulators will relax the arterioles, allowing them to bring in more blood. More blood. That's going to be a better erection. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a stronger, harder erection and a quicker erection. So relaxes the blood vessel, smooth muscle yes. or muscle. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Yes, and I mean, it, the smooth muscles, more. just like the skeletal muscles when we're doing it in, in the face. And a lot of times, because we're injecting skeletal muscle with, re, you know, with relaxation, you know, a lot of people are like, how does that make something bigger and harder if you're relaxing it? But it's not a muscle. My staff had the hardest time mm -hmm. until I explained that to them. I mean, they, they thought it was backwards. But when we relax the blood supply, the, 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 the pipe mm -hmm. that's carrying the blood into the um, penis, if we relax it, we have a bigger pipe. 
There's more flow. It's not like when you're looking at the penis, it's a muscle. Uh -huh. It's not a muscle, it's a blood vessel. And when you relax the walls of the blood vessel, yes. you get a bigger pipe. Then you get a bigger, yeah. 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 So, and it does. It's the reverse of what people think exactly. would work. So, yeah. yeah. Since I'm a urologist, I mean, I, I understand that penile anatomy so well that it's second, you know, it's, yes. I don't even have to think about it, but, no. but it is something to explain. I'm glad you, you well, brought that up. Well, out. I think that people think like it's relaxing muscle yeah. and the penis is yeah. a muscle. So how does that work to make it harder? Yeah. But then my concern initially, and that's what, you know, I think we can discuss is like we're injecting Botox into a blood vessel where we're normally injected into a muscle, do you have like systemic effects from that? The answer is no. Now, um, I will be honest, the first few that I did, um, <laughs> I was a little apprehensive, mm -hmm. um, not knowing what was going to happen when I took the tourniquet off. Mm -hmm. And that's a topic that we may or may not talk about, but I no longer use the tourniquet. Um, mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there are we've not seen any bad effects. Um, I've never read about any, about the only side effect or risk is a bruise. Just like you're putting a needle yeah. in anything else, yeah. just potential yeah. bruising or swelling. Yeah. So interesting that now they're doing some studies looking at it, right? Yes. And that's relatively new. Oh, it is. Because they ha weren't looking at studies with it. So you guys were doing it in practice a little bit, but there wasn't an, a study Correct. really looking at and now there is. And they're, and they're seeing significant improvements in erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. um, there's another thing. This is this is pretty new, and, and this is going to be big. For guys that finish a little quicker than they're mm -hmm. wanting to, premature mm -hmm. ejaculation, mm -hmm. this is about the only medical treatment, because I don't consider numbing a medical treatment. No, because um, you can't have sex. Yeah, that you might as well wear a thick um, condom. Yeah, yeah. What we found, and, and this is something that I can't explain to you the physiology behind of it, but modulators have improved men who have premature ejaculation. They're able to withhold or last longer. That's mm -hmm. a big deal. Yeah, because there's Maybe no not other every treatment guy, for but it. There's no other treatment, and that's big. So yeah. that's going to be really getting a lot of people's attention. I love so, that. And that's what they're finding as a secondary yeah, benefit yeah. in the studies. Yeah. And there's only like the studies I looked at. And again, why I was comprehensive about it is, okay, well, you know, or apprehensive about it, I should say, is again, we're injecting it into a vessel. There were small studies, mm -hmm. but then there's, you know, again, you know, our organization, like or when we're doing like the Cellular Medicine Association, they were doing it. I talked to you, you've been doing it. And now we have small studies, but we have a lot of providers in practice doing it without any adverse effects too. Exactly. But nobody's really looking at that part of it, but they'll start. They're going to start looking. doing that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Very interesting. Because so, otherwise a numb, I can't even imagine that when you're numbing, you put a numbing cream on that they could even get an erection, let alone keep one. Yeah. 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 Let's um, take care of something real, real quickly, because I know a lot of guys that are listening to this must be cringing. It does not hurt. <laughs> The yeah. penis is not designed to feel a sharp, sharp, distinct point. It's meant to feel friction tightness, not a sharp, distinct point. The needles are micronic. Yes. I mean, it's a little insulin syringe, doom, tiny. Doom. Yeah. And, yeah. And 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 people ask, are you going to numb up the penis? Okay. Then the needle to numb you is going to hurt more than. Yes. This. Yeah. Correct. Makes, it, it does. It does not hurt. Believe me, it does not hurt. Well, and so that brings us to the point. So, listen, Botox has been around for a long time, yeah. and <clears throat> from a med spa aesthetic aspect, you know, people never talked about getting Botox before. Now everyone talks about it. And men are completely into getting Botox. Everyone's talking mm -hmm. about it. But those same injectors that are doing Botox for your face aren't used to injecting penises with anything. And that's something we do on a regular basis. Yeah. And so do you think those, I, I, I know my answer, but we haven't discussed that okay. directly, but do you think those um, experienced 20 plus year injectors even are gonna touch the penis with Botox? Yeah, I think the barrier to entry whenever we talk about needles in private areas, um, there are very few practitioners that are that are comfortable doing mm -hmm. that. And, yeah. and I agree. I mean, I, I'm glad, actually, because I think you should be a little more familiar yeah. with the anatomy and what can happen anyhow. So, But I will say that like every time I've kind of posed that question in a joking manner to see if they were ready, 
No one. No, no, yeah, it was a, no. it was a flat out no. No. Yeah. So and and I like that idea, but again, you're not going to be able to get it anywhere. So Botox with you know, erection and improvement mm -hmm. and stronger erections isn't something you're going to get at your usual Botox treatment places. And, and you should not. Okay. Right? One of the questions you, that I'm sure you're going to be asked is how long does it last? Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. everybody's different. In the face, we tell them typically three months. It's where you need to get it done mm -hmm. again. In the penis, it tends to last much longer. Mm -hmm. I'll tell guys anywhere from six to 12 months on average around nine. Again, some guys might come in earlier, but but it does last much longer than it does. I mean, it works much longer, longer than, than it the does face. in the face, yes. And then on responses in your practice, because mm -hmm. you've been doing it for a while now, and your response rate is approximately? Oh, it's overwhelmingly people are going to respond. Okay. What you don't know at the very beginning is how much of the modulator you're going to need. A typical protocol might say 100 units. What we have seen that might work in two thirds of the men, mm -hmm. and the rest will need more. Okay. And so they just come back in, and and we just do more. And so if you're touching up like facial stuff, mm -hmm. you're doing it within two weeks usually. Uh -huh. Does there a time frame we for use, touching up for that treatment in particular and duration? We we tell them we tell them about um, four weeks if it's. If they're still having bad retraction, come in and it will do some more. And no adverse effects Zero. systemic, like no breathing, nothing. no nothing. issues. All right, yeah. And nothing else. It doesn't paralyze anything else. That's, it's yeah, just. I was scared to death in the yeah. beginning that, you know, am I going to paralyze a diaphragm? No, it doesn't happen. Yeah, stop breathing, nothing. No. But every, every person has been. And then as far as, so you have a bigger flaccid so mm -hmm. when you're not hard it's bigger yep and then when you're hard it's, it's harder it's harder and then now some other benefits such as premature ejaculation improvement mm -hmm. so it's a win-win all the way around I, I mean yeah yeah safe and and you have better sex and painless you're better. better sex you look better and, yeah, more confidence, and, that's huge. Yeah. The confidence is big. Yeah, no, that is definitely huge. And often I hear that kind of grower, not a shower thing. Mm -hmm. I kind of never really got that until late in the game. Um, but this would make the grower, mm -hmm. you know, a little more confident than yeah. in, every, yeah. in every situation. So any downside to it at all? A bruise. That's it. That's yeah. it. Are you glad that they're studying it? much more and making it a little more it's, uh, it, from the awareness publicly, you know, men are becoming more aware of it. And it, it, I think it, that's it's huge. always nice when um, you've got studies out there that sort of show that we're not doing voodoo. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting because as we do lots of other things to help erections, you know, like gains wave or PRP injections and, you know, and other things, you don't get a lot of studies that really back that up, but with, you know, Botox being a, you know, a, a drug company, you mm -hmm. know, that sponsor, it's great to finally at least get some studies out there oh, yeah. Journal that address all of them. Uh, yeah, I know. Possible. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Well, perfect. Anything else you think we should hit on with this? No. No. no, no I know. It. Well, I love, again, you know, Dr. Ibrahim is an expert in urology and um, and so just the fact that you can bring your expertise to this topic and educate us and it's wonderful and I appreciate you being on the podcast and sharing all your information and experience. It's always a pleasure coming here. I learned so much from you. And we learn from each other. Yeah, well, it's amazing. You've yeah. got a great staff, a great facility. And so And so do you. Like so. again, and we're just across the mountain from each yeah. other. And so it's it's awesome to visit and exchange information, huh? And always see you. Thank you so much. All right. So um just like and subscribe, share with any friends and um just remember we're here to revitalize your look, your health, and your sex life.